Organizations with cult leaders tend to have quite a large amount of exploitation, but in a great many ways. One of the key ways, and perhaps one of the most disturbing, is sexual. Whether we talk about Joseph Smith and his choice in young females, or Jim Jones and his secret abuse of children long before the mass suicide, Paul Schaefer of Colonia Dignidad in Chile, who abused a huge number of children, Warren Jeffs, who abused a great many children and married older men to very young women and young girls. David Berg, otherwise known as Moses David, who was a cult leader who abused a great many girls in his organisation. Now the only thing that unites these cases, and for the purpose of this video, is the point of sexual exploitation. And in extreme cases, exploitation of children, of minors. Sexual exploitation happens in many forms when people have power and very little supervision. The same could be said to be true from a certain point of view when it comes down to Catholic priests, or for that matter any number of different types of priests, so-called mainstream religious officials. When a person's a middleman between you and God, you're going to trust them more than you would any other person. You're going to trust them as if they are God. And if they're a person who claims to be a prophet who speaks directly for God, that's going to be increased even more, to an extraordinary degree, where abuses can be gotten away with. But of course, where there isn't in fact any form of sexual exploitation towards anyone, you will find other forms of exploitation, which are key indicators to justify the term cult in regard to an organised belief system. It almost comes, along, comes with a deep psychosis.